Welcome to Nevada Newsmakers on the broadcast today. Two legends of Nevada, Charlie and Karen Abowd, for the whole show on an all-new Nevada Newsmakers. The holidays are upon us, a time of celebration, family gathering, and gratitude. There are gifts to be wrapped, feasts prepared, love shared, and memories made. Life is precious, so let us cherish each other and all that we have. We're the Retail Association of Nevada. We thank you for letting us enrich your lives and thank you for your support throughout the year. Happy Holidays! R-A-N-N-V dot org. Hello, is this D&D Roofing? Yes, it is. How may I help you? You did such a great job on my roof. May I speak to the owner? I am an owner. Oh, can I speak to your supervisor? Sure. How may I help you? I love your work. May I speak to the owner? I am an owner. We're all owners. Well, that's why at D&D we work so hard to keep your home safe and sound. Oh, no wonder. D&D Roofing and Sheet Metal. Local, employee-owned, here for you. Pro Group Management offers workers' comp services to a growing number of industries. As businesses grow and change with the times, the need for a solid workers' comp program must be flexible and up-to-date. The evolving nature of regulations can make staying ahead of complex tasks challenging. But Pro Group Management simplifies the work so your industry can move forward and succeed. Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. Truck drivers are some of the hardest working people you'll meet, delivering over 70% of America's freight and 92% of Nevada's. When there's a natural disaster, they're delivering critical supplies to help those communities recover and rebuild. Every sector of the economy and our nation's military rely on truck drivers. So let's take a moment to say thank you. On the open road or city streets, our truck drivers are rolling to make our economy and our nation stronger. Trucking moves America forward. This is Nevada Newsmakers with host Sam Shad, a no-holds-barred political forum. Now, from the Nevada Newsmakers Broadcast Headquarters, here is Sam Shad. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we're always delighted to welcome back to the program Karen and Charlie Abowd, owners of Cafe at Adele's. It's a pleasure to have you back on the program, but trying times. This was supposed to be the 40th anniversary of Adele's, and because of the smoke damage, the restaurant shut down. Um, you just, uh, as we are taping this, you just had the auction. Mm -hmm. That must have been pretty tough to go through. You know, the, the, the whole experience has been uh, um, very trying on me and uh, Karen, but um, I think the auction was the hardest part for me. You know, there was, uh, you know, there's items there that we grew up with as a family, eating at tables, doing my homework on the tables and things like that. So yeah, I had to leave. I couldn't be there for that. And same for you, obviously, Karen. It's definitely difficult. Um, I just, there's memories there that are hard to part with, but by the same token, I, I took a different thought process on it and just felt like um, those that were there somewhat were there to um, take memories home with them. So, you know, I, I just try to put a positive spin on it. Um, more difficult for me was letting go of our employees, that, that part just rip me up and and you guys had set it up uh, with the insurance company originally um, that they would be taken care of you know uh, during this phase yeah we had what is t traditionally called in the industry um, a business interruption insurance um, so it allowed us to uh, pay the employees for four months uh, while they try to get their feet on the ground and figure out what, what they were going to do um, the, uh, a lot of people are saying, well, it was a historic building. Why was this not able to be preserved? But it was not registered as it a historic It was not registered. Um, Charlie's mom, in her wisdom, knew that um, she w did not register it purposefully because otherwise the modifications that had been done in the building over the years would have become extremely difficult. And, um, you know, in a restaurant, you you have to do what sure. needs to be done in order to accommodate your needs, and so that's why she never did. Um, and, you know, uh, part of the rebuilding process, you know, for both of you, 
has to be looking toward the future, but mm -hmm. just, just for a couple of seconds, because I know my family, and, and we wrote to you to talk about this, you know, my family for the last 30 plus years has been involved in Adele's in every family celebration uh, that I can think of. And, uh, um, y you know, are, are there two or three highlights that you can point to, or is it just all a big picture of, you know, memories? Well, for me, um, you know, it has to be, even though it wasn't at Adele's, um, but it was when we went to New York and um, we were invited by the James Beard Foundation to prepare a meal for the board of directors of the James Beard Foundation um, and um, invited guests. So we were able to uh, take not only Karen and I, but uh, the lion's share of our uh, key employees, which was a traveling troupe of 13 restaurant people uh, let loose in uh, New York <laughs> City <laughs> and uh, Greenwich Village and um, you know not only the preparation of the dinner and the presentation of the dinner but spending that time with uh, those people in retrospect today sitting here talking to you how cherished uh, a moment that was in all of our lives it was a great um, it was a great great event and then um, the wedding of my daughter and uh, son-in-law, uh, which happened um, two weeks before the fire. Yes. Yeah, yeah, two weeks before the fire. Yeah. Uh, you know, having dad there and uh, the family. And uh, so there's so many memories. There's so many things, uh, you know, that it's, it's um, yeah. So those are two. <laughs> so, so to me, it's like there, there's a dual track for Adele's in my mind, which is obviously the incredible political life mm -hmm. that every political figure, major or minor, at some point or another had come through Adele's. Lord knows how many uh, deals were struck in that property. That's if you right. had actually put microphones, which I, I know you didn't, <laughs> but if you had done so, I mean, the history would be incredible. Uh, but also there was another side, which was, it was a locals restaurant. Right. It, was, it was part of Carson City. That's right. And for so many, and we've heard for so many, they, they've lost their connection, their place to gather, their place for, con it was a hub of conversation. And no matter what political side of the fence you were on, or local side of the fence you were on, it was a great place for folks to gather and come together and share time, good times, bad times, all of it. And so um, I, th that part is difficult because that I feel like that connection is gone. To say the least. All right, let's take a break. We'll come back and we'll talk about today and moving forward, okay, mm -hmm. after this timeout. Tamarack Junction is South Reno's hotspot with over 450 of the latest slots and video games. Sully Sports Bar, the Dining Car Restaurant, William Hill Sportsbook, and the Tamarack Steakhouse and Lounge. We're just north of the Summit Mall in South Virginia. Yeah. Ahern Rentals began as Signal Gas Station on Las Vegas Boulevard. Founder John Ahern grew the business by offering rentals. His son Don built on John's legacy, growing Ahern Rentals into the largest independently owned American rental company with 89 locations in 30 states. Don also brought his experience and vision to equipment manufacturing with Extreme Manufacturing and Snorkel. Today, Ahern Rentals continues to bring its family values to a new generation. Learn more at ahern.com. Hi, I'm Eric Robnett, owner of Home Energy Experts. Has this ever happened to you? Honey, did you remember to turn down the thermostat? <sighs> Forgetting to set the temperature? Not fun. We can help. Our new smart thermostat keeps the temperature set for your comfort all by itself. I'm feeling hot now. <sighs> to increase your comfort, go to homeenergyexperts.com for details. That's homeenergyexperts.com. The signs and symptoms of cataracts can start out small with subtle changes in your vision. So don't wait. Be proactive and take your vision into your own hands. If you're experiencing the onset of cataracts or just have questions, contact your eye care professional or call Eye Care Associates of Nevada today. Dr. Hiss has years of experience specializing in the surgical correction of eye disorders and has completed over 84,000 vision correcting procedures. 
At I Care Associates of Nevada, we'll change the way you look at the world. The Tamarack Junction Steakhouse is known for signature steaks, handcrafted cocktails, and world-class wines. Join us Thursdays and Friday nights from 4.30 to 6.30 in the Steakhouse Lounge for live music, gourmet plates, and well-priced wines just north of the Summit Mall on South Virginia. This is Nevada Newsmakers. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we continue our conversation with Karen and Charlie Abowd, uh, the owners of Cafe at Adele's. Um, we've talked about you know, what's happened in the recent past. Um, just, just briefly, um, uh, is the property now, you know, for sale for the land and building to be whatever it's well, going to be in the future? It's, um, <laughs> you know, yes, the property is for sale, which has the building on it. It is, um, it is, uh, there's two groups looking at it, and uh, so we'll just see how that goes. They're both doing their due diligence. So uh, I know that uh, one of the plans is to make it a uh, multi-use facility. Uh, uh, so then the other one I'm not sure about. But uh, uh, that, that being said, you know, yes. You know, it's, uh, the smoke damage is so extensive. Uh, and to mitigate the... Um, the uh, damage from the smoke and the chemicals and the environmental issues that uh, a building built in 1864 bring to the table makes it easier, cheaper to tear it down and start from um, the ground up rather than uh, try to refurbish it. So at this point in time, you guys were looking, not in a rush, but you were looking to sell Adele's and retire. Right. Um, at this point, obviously, that is no longer on the table, um, but you're not gonna sit around. What, what, what kind of plans are you both working on? Because you, you, you know, people may not know this. In, you're a Carson City supervisor. You run the greenhouse project, I, which I wanna talk about in a couple of minutes, um, but you also are an interior decorator. Right. I mean, it's not like you've been laying around. No, um, it's just one less job. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I will continue my interior design, which I'm doing currently. And as you mentioned, the greenhouse project is growing, and so we're raising funds for an outdoor classroom. So, you know, it occupies a lot of my time as well. And um, and then spending time with the grandkids and being able to go to all their games and do some of the things that we have wanted to do. And what I am enjoying is not doing it by myself. Charlie gets to be part of it, so. You know, it's funny, and I can share this with you um, because, you know, for years, first working in nightclubs, then working in television and radio. Every holiday that came along, I worked. I was the guy that at Thanksgiving couldn't have a drink at four o'clock in the afternoon because I had to go back and do the you know, 6.30 news and the 11 o'clock news and whatever. And when we stopped doing the morning show, um, I vowed to my wife we were gonna take off every holiday that was available, including, if necessary, the fast of Ramadan, which have, I have not done so far, but it, it's certainly an item. Um, this has got to be amazing for you on the positive side to suddenly not have to worry about, well, I've got to do New Year's Eve. I've, and one year you did New Year's Eve where you were dying. Yes. <laughs> I remember that a few years ago. Um, you know, I guess the, the best way to put this, uh, so, you know, to get the, um, the freedom this allows is that two years ago was my dad's 90th birthday. And so everybody was gathering in the family to have dinner with dad in the wine room. And uh, so everybody was there, my brothers, sisters, grandchildren, everybody, uh, except for me. And um, I was preparing the dinner for everybody. And I was actually crying mm -hmm. when I was serving the dinner because reality was, that when you celebrate your father's 90th birthday, you don't know how many more birthdays you get to be, spend with them. And I never got to spend any time with them other than a short trip back to the wine room to give him a kiss and a hug. And uh, my brother came back afterwards and said what a lovely night it was. And I told him, see, this is why I need to turn the page to my next chapter in life. And uh, 
I, I never recuperated from that. I still regret not having that, you know, that time with him. So, um, but yeah, that kind of puts it in a nutshell. Uh, the, the private life of us crazy people in the restaurant business, much like the, uh, the news business, people that are, that it doesn't make any difference if it's Christmas or if it's Tuesday. It's still a work day, you know. Right. So. And, and, and how many of those holidays have we spent celebrating the day after, two days after, a week after? Correct. To try and catch up. Our anniversaries, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. We thought, I thought I was a brainiac when I was first, when we first got, uh, decided to get married, that I was going to um, have our wedding on what was then uh, Washington's birthday. It was the 19th. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, you know, it's now it's a weekend and it's <laughs> President's birthday. Right. But I figured having it on a holiday, uh, which was at that time a Monday, we would always be able to be together for for anniversary. Not so. <laughs> <laughs> that changed. Yeah. Well, and I don't think that people realize that uh, uh, at, at any level in the restaurant business, it's an incredibly tough job. Yeah. At the level that you've been operating your whole career, it's an incredibly tough job. Yes. Because it's not just the brain part, figuring out the menus, buying the food, you know, getting up at the farmer's market at the crack of dawn, um, but it's also being on your feet, uh, being around dangerous equipment. I, I mean, it's not an easy life. You know, it is, and, 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 and the, that has its pluses. And, and that's the best part of it is it takes a certain personality to excel in this business. And so those people are exciting to be around. I mean, I love being around restaurant people. I love it. Uh, they have a certain gusto for life. And uh, I have a picture that I put up here periodically on social media. And uh, it's, a, it's a group of people that was actually probably taken after the, the Chicago Cubs won the World Series, you know. Shirts off, standing on cars, handsome, is, and the caption reads, what would happen if every chef and cook got a Saturday night off? <laughs> 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 so, you know, it, it is a, um, it's, it's a tough business, and, but the people that are, are uh, dedicated to it and, uh, and are in love with it, and I think that that's one of the key things to be successful in the restaurant business is the love factor, brings a personality that uh, is dear to my heart and it's exciting to be around. I love being around these young kids that, uh, that are getting going in the business. I love spending time with them and uh, you know, in fact, we just did a project with Colin Smith and uh, Chris Nealon from Roundabout uh, for the uh, Harvest Center, and it was great. You know, I got to meet Alex Dowling, who's a young star uh, coming up in the uh, the ranks in uh, Reno. So, um, yeah, I'd love it. All right, so what's the next phase? Well, Karen's <laughs> design business is... Uh, going to keep her busy. I'm going to start a what's called, I actually have started, I've had a couple of uh, events already, Charlie's Table at Your Home, where I will come in and prepare a private uh, meal for a small group of guests or a cocktail party or anything like that. Um, I'm not going into the catering business or public events. I want it to be uh, low key. I don't want to have to get a, a shared commercial kitchen or anything like that. You know, it, it just to augment our income together. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and you remind me as you're saying that of something that happened during the Great Recession where we have a nonprofit and we were putting on a dinner and the venue that we had had with a good friend was suddenly no longer available to us. And I came to you and I said to you, Charlie, you know, would you be interested in helping us put on this dinner? And you said, under normal circumstances, no, but we are no longer under normal circumstances. So yes, I will do this. And you put together an amazing dinner at the Plaza uh, for a couple of hundred people with 
the least amount of professional equipment, I would have to say. <laughs> do you remember that? I sure do. And, yeah. and, and, it, and it was an extraordinary success. And when you came out, the place was a standing ovation. Yeah. That was quite a night. It was, uh, you know, back to the harvest dinner and events like that uh, are very heartfelt because uh, we did the, har the uh, harvest dinner this year at the governor's mansion. Mm -hmm. And um, so typical, Karen would uh, um, greet the people, talk about the greenhouse, introduce the chefs. The chefs were introduced, Colin and Chris gave their uh, description of the menu, and then Karen called me up, and everybody stood up. It was, it was heartfelt, yeah. To say the least. And then at the end of the evening, we were during the auction, there was a Jimi Hendrix original um, painting, mixed media, and two people were bidding on it. It got up to about 2,500 bucks, and one of the persons says, you know, I want to buy this for Charlie. And uh, so why don't we both just do that? Okay, and so at the end of the bidding, they called me up and they gave me the painting. They said, Charlie, this is, Charlie needs this in his life. You know, it's, uh, the people have been unbelievable. The love has been, and we've been blessed in our, in our uh, lives in the restaurant business uh, to be um, loved, you know, good, bad, or otherwise. You know, they may not like what I'm going to cook today or cook today, but they still loved us, you know, and they're going to come back. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be back after <laughs> this. Dimitri Prine here for Design Outdoor. Come visit Design Outdoor's store and backyard to see our wide selection of fire pits, barbecues, and pizza ovens, natural stone water features, and fountains, and frost-proof pottery. Our store and backyard are located at 11600 South Virginia, just north of DeMonte Ranch Parkway. Visit designoutdoor.com or call us at 851-9499. I can't do it. Stupid, like my mom. We can't do anything at Mommy's because you won't pay child support. Dad said you cheated, and he's not even sure he's my dad. Mommy said you left both of us, so she isn't going to let me see you. I look just like my father. I'm divorce attorney Marilyn York, and I may represent men, but hate has no gender, only casualties. Please, stop sacrificing your children in your war against your ex. Hi, I'm Dave Newman. Remember me? I used to be the house detective, and now I'm a realtor, full-time at REMAX Realty Affiliates. And a lot of people ask me, how's the market? You know what? It's fantastic. If you're even kicking around the idea of buying or selling, give me a call. Let's talk about it. Call me at REMAX Realty Affiliates and just ask for the guy who used to be the house detective, Dave Newman. Everyone is talking about opioids. But they're not the only drugs that can be harmful if taken in large quantities or not as prescribed. You also need to be aware of side effects from anxiety drugs, muscle relaxants, sleep aids, and stimulants. Mixing prescription drugs with other drugs or alcohol can be dangerous. If you take Ambien with a glass of wine, it may be enough to stop you from breathing. Prescribed drugs can be just as dangerous as illegal drugs. Take medications only as directed. This is Nevada Newsmakers. And back on Nevada Newsmakers, we continue our conversation with Karen and Charlie Abowd, owners of Cafe at Adele's, uh, the greenhouse project. Where are we heading in this coming year? Because it has come so far, it's unbelievable. It has, Sam. And, um, well, I have to let you know that we have gone from 20 students in Future Farmers of America that we support to 187. Wow. And so because of that, in all fields of uh, agriculture, and because of that, we are in need of building an outdoor classroom because we are literally out of space. And so we're, that's, that's our focus for this year. Um, we've already raised about um, a third of the monies and we're applying for grants for, for the rest of it. So I look forward to that. I'm very grateful to our, our uh, in-kind um, folks that are helping out with this. Um, 
Manhard Construction, Dale Brown, um, were it not for folks like that, that that are willing to contribute and who did the first time around when we built the 2100 square foot greenhouse, that was Manhard Construction yet again, and La Piccolo Construction that, that uh, did the lion's share of in-kind support with regards to the facility. But we now have two campuses, one behind Carson High School. We're also uh, ne next to the Cancer Center at Carson Tahoe um, Hospital. And we have our wellness walk up there and collaborated with the Chamber Leadership Group for a bee hotel up there uh, for our pollinators to help uh, enhance our garden settings. And um, it, it's amazing how far it's come and it's amazing the level of support within the community and my loyal action group and board members who work hard. It's not like a board that you show up, uh -uh. it's you know boots on, we had the concert, we you know we actively participate in putting all of that together. The harvest dinner, the same thing. Um, we're sponsoring the flower baskets yet again that go down the center of town, that's all of our doing. And so everyone actively engages in um, participating and making it work. And the word amazing, I think, just applies to the two of you. And we're always glad when you take the time to come in and visit. And the best of luck with Charlie's table at your home. And uh, I'm sure we will be indulging in that too. Thank you both. Thank you, Sam. And we'll be back. A bird's eye captures its surroundings at different heights. At Brian Culp of Photography, we can make your imagination soar over buildings, parks, cityscapes, and beyond. Brian's images tell the story and get the job done. If you need a new perspective to tell your story, contact Brian today. Brian Culp of Photography. Experience the bird's eye view at brianculpaphotography.com. Hi, my name's Marilyn Miner, and I'm sure you'd agree that Nevada's a very special place to live. I was born here, and my husband and I have raised our family here. I feel it's a privilege to live and work in the Truckee Meadows. I especially enjoy helping my clients reach their real estate goals. Sometimes the smallest details provide the greatest satisfaction. I'd be complimented to talk to you about your next move. Call Marilyn Miner at Dixon Realty, 742-1280, or log on to MarilynMiner.com. St. Ives Florist, for every holiday and every special occasion. For romance, custom home design. We have the largest selection of fresh flowers in Northern Nevada. And we also offer a large selection of unique gift items. Come see me, Lori Ann, at St. Ives Florist, 700 South Wells Avenue, or call me at 333-9190. Pro Group Management specializes in providing industries with the necessary components to satisfy and exceed workers' comp requirements. Every business has unique needs and specific regulations. Pro Group Management stays ahead of the curve, providing up-to-date services to keep your industry in top form. Discover how we simplify your tasks, improve efficiency, and reduce expense to keep you moving in a positive direction. Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. As always, you can watch Nevada Newsmakers 24 hours a day at NevadaNewsmakers.com. We'll see you on the next show.